All right, this is a review of Ninja Get Good, My Ultimate Guide to Gaming by Tyler Blevins, which is Ninja. Ninja is a streaming star who put Twitch on the map, Fortnite, as well as streaming for a living on the map. He's also sponsored by very famous brands such as Red Bull, Adidas, and Uber Eats. This is a straightforward book, and I'll reveal some of the tips. Ninja brands himself well, so he offers some tactics, tips, and advice on the streaming lifestyle. Is it worth reading? Yeah, just to see this guy's point of view. He's in his own world. And right now, streaming is powerful, especially with 5G coming on. Particularly Twitch and YouTube are where the streamers are. It's creating careers. Streaming is kind of like a peephole. It can be boring just watching people. Sometimes they're just eating or putting on makeup. However, in the digital era, people are somewhat lonely and they need to connect. So this is one way they can connect and make new friends. And whether it is insecure or not wanting to be seen, people just want to be a part of the streaming culture and gaming. And Ninja offers entertainment aspects and stories. Some of the tips, obviously, are to keep it Ninja. There are advantages to stay on top, a gain sense, and predicting what your opponent is doing. Other tips on some of the hardware are very straightforward and common sense. A compact keyboard, mechanical mouse, wires, low sensitivity for the wrist flicks, wired optical mouses, big mouse pad, and also to have a PC that can handle the frame rates. A 21 to 27 inch monitor, and make sure that resolution matches the hardware. GPU is important. Have a strong one. I have a 1070 Ti. Have a high refresh rate, 240 hertz. Also have a good chair for posture. I have an ergonomic chair. It's about $700 retail, and it's lasted me 10 years plus. It's, it's worth probably take about $200 nowadays. Some other tips are you can use flick aim, track aim. Have the monitor eye level. Exercise your body, your wrists, shoulders, necks. You don't want to be uptight. Take breaks. And I'm glad Ninja addresses some of the issues. And he does mention myths that gamers have to go through. Such as the violence can desensitize people. It could be bad for school. And their social skills can be bad. And I do not agree with Ninja in this book. He has to fluff these comments because at the end of the day, he makes a living with games and being a gamer. There can be social isolation, too much screen time, and young people are having that zombie look. Boomers aren't always right. They can be narcissists, but they do got it right. The real world versus the social world will collide. Gamers in general can have issues with listening, consciousness, and a real world connection where there's like a physical handshake or even a hug. And this is obvious, it can be bad for the school. Yet it can be fun in connecting with other people especially if you're not getting along with people around you. It can be, can be an escape. People are skimming and scanning. There's no depth. And you're lucky to be on this channel so you can actually listen to the video as well as read the book. And the reality is you're watching someone. You're not cold approaching. And there are a great deal of thirsty guys on the internet. And these type of games can keep you weak. And you can always check out my other videos more for more on that. And hopefully you can connect with some young people and not be a zombie kid. And something to realize with this popularity in streaming and Twitch, that not everybody is going to be a professional gamer or streamer, yet it is going to grow. Some other tips are be prepared, of course, and he puts it as haste. You don't want to be reactive or lost or not in control. Be in control and dominate. Move like a dance. Be the best player you can be. It's also a term of excellence. Counter the players, just like Mayweather. Have strategy. You can appear weak, but you are actually really strong. He recommends you play Osu, which is this game you can do tracing with. I do recommend Kovac, which is a tracker type shooting simulator. There's a yin and the yang. I do like that he recognizes there's a counterbalance, a force and a counterforce. And he does cite a good quote on Sun Tzu, The Art of War. And here it is. Strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory. Tactics without strategy is a noise before defeat. You can practice and schedule it, review and replay your games. Play players who are wild and are unique. Avoid toxic players. Watch YouTube and Twitch. Ninja gives tips on leadership and the joys of streaming, how you can meet people. And that is the one big benefit of streaming and a good reason why I do watch Twitch. There's community building, just like in YouTube. And Ninja does not play with female streamers, which might ruin his own relationship. And that is just like the Mike Pence rule. Good for him. But what about other people? And Ninja has gone somewhat downhill and he has a lot of haters. He's not as popular as he used to be on Twitch and streaming. He's on Mixer now, another streaming service. Everybody kind of gives him credit for putting esports on the map and its heavy growth. Tifu and his personality are taking over the streaming world where it's not so much being a god in playing games, it's also personality. 
and the mainstream and sponsors are coming in and they're trying to control speech, which is changing the whole industry. And I do recommend everybody get on Twitch. I will have my account posted at some point. Most people are just interested in entertainment and not learning. The zombies in general just want influence. And in terms of my stone style, and probably the best because I'm old school, is that I recommend... I was really good at the game Counter-Strike. And I had a max sensitivity with a basic HP mouse. So it was the lightest mouse possible and I was dominating with that. However, that's for that type of game. Counter-Strike is about being exact. I'm a little bit older now, so I'm never going to be that great again. For other games, I don't recognize using the highest sensitivity and the lightest mouths. Now it's more about having more options and buttons. I do like the Kovac tracker. I'll post a link down below. And for streaming, I have an iBauer PC 1070 Ti, A6300 camera, a Zoom H6, and USB mics. And I'm going to upgrade a lot of that later. There is a dark side to Ninja and the streaming industry. How it can be visual, there's a camera on you. He dyes his hair blue, which is not exactly the most masculine thing in the world. And it reminds me somewhat of Dan Bazarian, where this lifestyle isn't going to happen with most people. These people are in their own world, just like Justin Bieber. Also, I don't think it's healthy to play eight hours a day. There's a virtual world versus reality. I do find Twitch to be an echo chamber where I will make another video on that and several other videos. Just check my Twitch playlist when I have it available. And these companies take advantage of the gamification to keep you addicted, somewhat as in porn, video games, and Netflix. They know exactly what they're doing. Some of the pros can be hand-eye coordination, mapping, improv. And just recently, that guy who won Fortnite, he was a 16-year-old. He made $3 million. However, I do think it is good for parents. I'm not a parent. But you shouldn't be playing too much video games. However, I don't want to diss someone's dreams. Also, check the links down below. I'll post anything Twitch related in the future, whether it be streaming gears or new platforms. Ninja is also going to publish three other books, a Ninja Notebook and a story mode called The Most Dangerous Game. I'll probably buy that and maybe I'll review it. Also, check out some of these cool YouTube videos I found on Ninja. One of them is when we called a little kid a little shit. It went viral, so everybody knows about this. Just go ahead and check the links down below. There's a ninja montage, as well as a ninja story. I do like that old ninja better. Now he's too corporate. However, this is still a good book, and I do recommend it. New stars are not so much social media stars, but they're niche tribes that have community. Expect to hear more about this from me and Twitch. I'll go be going to TwitchCon and studying the culture. Twitch is mostly trolls, and it is White Knight Central. However, it's fun as hell. Get your game on. 